Hey guys, how's it going? Mr. Mitchell here. This is the first in a series of six videos where we look at the key definitions that you need to know for the Advanced Higher Physics exam. In this video, we cover the definitions for the introduction or the uncertainties topic, and I'd recommend that you make your own flashcards from these definitions. You can do this by writing down the word or term on one side, and the definition or the meaning on the other side of your flashcard. But let's get into it. Our first definition is scale reading uncertainty, and this gives an indication of how precisely a scale on a measuring instrument can be read. It depends on the type of scale used, for example whether it's analogue or digital, and remember analogue scales have a scale reading uncertainty of plus or minus half of the smallest scale division, whereas digital scales have a scale reading uncertainty of plus or minus one of the least significant digit. Next we have random uncertainty, and random uncertainty arises when measurements are repeated and slight variations occur. You can also call these fluctuations in the readings. And random uncertainty may be reduced by increasing the number of repeated measurements. Remember on the relationship sheet in the exam there is an expression for random uncertainty, which says that you take the maximum value from a set of readings and subtract the minimum value from the set of readings and divide by the total number of readings. Moving on we have systematic uncertainty. And this occurs when readings taken are either all too small or all too large. This can arise due to faulty measurement techniques or experimental design. And remember you can show systematic uncertainty on a graph where instead of a line going straight through the origin, it will actually be offset from the origin showing that all the measurements taken are offset in some way. A new definition that wasn't in the higher course is calibration uncertainty, and this arises when there is a difference between a manufacturer's claim for the accuracy of an instrument when compared with an approved standard. And an example of this is when manufacturers make a piece of equipment, they will specify the calibration uncertainty because they will know how different it is to an approved standard. So you'll often find the calibration uncertainty stated in the instruction manual for a measuring device. Next we have the term accuracy, which describes how close a measurement is to the true or accepted value. So for example, let's say you were measuring the boiling point of water and you measured it to be 100 degrees Celsius exactly. Then you would say that your measurement was very accurate because it's bang on the true or accepted value. However, the further away you get from that accepted value of 100 degrees Celsius, the less accurate your measurement would be. Lastly we have precision, and this describes how close a number of measurements are to one another. So for example, let's say you were measuring your boiling point of water again, then you could say your measurement was very precise but not very accurate because it wasn't bang on the true or accepted value of 100 degrees Celsius. That's all for this video folks, I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.